And this will be a short, stupid video. Hello, how are you doing today, Kelvin Gamet? Yeah, sunny. A little warmer today. It's good to report on that. Yeah, of course, slippery old iPad. <laughs> and the problem with it. I used to pitch. Anyway, doesn't want to move. Stay there, okay? Ooh, those are warm. They're, uh, what are they? Uh, oh, so, yeah, Apex and another gun. Talk about energy devices. And I did write, make a video, a video. Um, the military battery substitute unit. Mechanical, um, not mechanical, well, semi-mechanical. If you want to call a pulsating magnetic field triggered by a special mix of semiconductor material at the end of it with a coil of very fine wire around the entire thing, and the capacitors are actually formed to fit a D cell. Now, it's confirmed by phone. Somebody in the Spook Society. Who was current was in Ireland some years ago actually. All this is years ago. But by memory I drew it out and made a video video a video on it. But again, you know there's a lot of things that people are interested in, but whether they take off or not is another story. As I mentioned before, I had clients that paid me a substantial amount of money for building these things, but they could never get funding. That's kind of upsetting for us all, but... A uh, number went to Japan, tested by Kyoto Institute of Technology, I got the report, tested by Walter Rosenthal with Ian Gazda. I got the report, and I got Grant Roman's stuff. Because I made some for Thomas in Germany. We had a real good one. It was quite light, portable. It's 24 volts at roughly just under a quarter of an ampere working energy. I had that thing for a number of years until it accidentally broke apart. And I just said, oh, well, you know, it's just some fine man. But I'm not into beating the drum on free energy. It's just stuff I discovered. And people came to me wanting to build something for them or they, get in tr or they got in trouble with somebody that was conning them out of lots of money. That was the first investor group. That uh, was Rhea Trade, Carl David Anderson, and the other gentleman. It worked okay. And they were happy with it and wanted the, the Chinese to invest in it, but that never happened. So that's another story. It goes on and on like that, you know? Uh, I'm trying to remember what time George Hathaway and Dr. Hal Pudock came around when I had a prototype with barium titanate wafers and cylinders. Wow. I think it was 19, 1993. Because George Hathaway, um, his, our partner, died. That was Alex Pizarro. And George came with Dr. Hal Pudock to collect some important papers. And I had one that you could tune it. Well, it came out of, what about a volt, a couple of volts maybe, and one of milliampers, and then I got that incorporated into other ones for the Japanese and the German German people. <coughs> So, interesting though.
and then it was, I was open source. The uh, very simple one was open source on the internet years ago. And a lot of people have made some successful units, that's for sure. The big one with the barium titanate, I haven't open sourced this thing on because you got to show and tell. It's easy to say, well, this is that and that and this and this is how it works, but you make a prototype and show how it's done. It'll make it easier for your clients or customers or pals or whoever. But I just don't have the full recipe yet. I might have the in original invoices from Goodfellas and Cermak, who actually made the wafers for me after analyzing the ones I got the warship. That was kind of a costly ordeal. But I had friends that helped out on that, so. Then I ordered up uh, 50 or 60 of these things. That was costly as well. And then I had a vacuum deposit system. A primitive thing that didn't really work that well, but it seemed to work. Vaporizing metals and condenses on plates. In an apartment, believe it or not. So, I'm, I'm not going to get my shower. I'm going to keep talking. Greener did an excellent video, kind of video talk on remote view. Thanks, Bob. I really appreciate it. That was pretty cool, what you're saying. I just really enjoyed it. So very true how people can deceive themselves by believing in certain things. I like the news media, for one, <coughs> and other people, and they're, we're all guilty of it. Even I am. You know, I'll do some song and dance and be just, I guess you'd call it not that honest with wheeling and dealing with scrap dealers or our best offer people, but the, I guess everybody does that, I suppose. I don't know. I see a lot of dishonest eBay sellers selling something that's scrap for like a thousand bucks when you get it for 50 bucks or 20 bucks. They're just waiting for people, fishing for people that are stupid to buy their stupid thing. <laughs> Pathetic, but anyway. Ring a ding 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 Okay, that's enough stupidity. I gotta get a shower. <sighs> How ridiculous, Mr. Hutchison! Hi! I'm your cutie patootie. Hi, ladies and gentlemen. You wanna take me in the woods? Okay, we're getting into that mode. Springtime and things spring up in springtime. <laughs> yeah, they do, don't they? <laughs> oh, yeah. In spring, my little things that pop up go, Hi! Let's go have fun! <laughs> Alright, ever carrying on. I'm going to shower now.